Jamie, great to meet you. Welcome to the Glasgow clan. You're finally a clan player. You've been out of action for some time since the pandemic. So how good does it feel to look forward to a season again? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, uh, like you said, it's been about a year and a half since I played and was kind of helping coach last year during the pandemic. And then we got shut down again. So I'm excited to get back to playing. It's kind of wasn't sure if I was going to play again, and then I missed it so much that I'm like, yeah, i got to come back and play a couple more years for sure, so I'm excited. That's interesting. I heard a few guys saying that they, they got to a point where they decided, well, they, they were getting to a point where they were wondering if they were going to play again. How close did you get to, to, to actually doing it? Um, I, I don't know even how close I was, but it definitely crossed my mind, and um. Just, just being out there coaching, it was kind of like, you know what, I enjoy this coaching, but I still got some playing left in me. So I figured it was probably the best for me to kind of come back and play a couple more years or whatever it may be, who knows how long. And like I said, I'm just excited to get back, and I missed it a lot. Good. Now, you're already acquainted with the Elite League. You spent two years with Guildford Flames prior to the, the pandemic. So why is Glasgow your choice of destination this time? Well, I had a good chat with, uh, with Coach Malcolm there, and and you know what he he uh, sounds like a very good coach, really good guy, and I liked what he had to say. And and um, you know he's bringing in a good team, as as you guys can all see with the signings that we've made, and and that was kind of a big part for me. And also playing down in Guildford, I really enjoyed playing in Glasgow. I, I enjoy that rink; it's a nice rink. Um, haven't really got to see the city yet because we just kind of came and gone. But uh, I've heard good things from, you know, Ben Davies, who I played with last year, and um, Lyndon Springer, who is lives around from where I am in Alberta here. So I talked to him at a golf tournament this summer, and he had nothing but good things to say. So, you know, what I'm yeah, like I said, I'm excited to excited to come there, and I love the rink, and the fans are great, and yeah, I'm excited. No wonder you love coming to Glasgow. Guildford always seem to win when they come to Glasgow. Clan don't have a good record against them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Change that. <laughs> now, when you first came to the UK, you'd, you'd left the University of Alberta, and that was when you, you signed for Guildford. So you've had those two years. How do you feel you've come on as a player in that time? You know what? My first year, like you said, leaving the university and then coming to uh, Guildford on the big ice was a little bit different, to be honest with you. Uh, Took me a while to kind of get used to it. And then kind of the second half of that year, it kind of, you know, took off, kind of got used to it a bit. And then the second year, I played much better. So it was, it was a little bit of an adjustment period. But um, like I said, I think I kind of figured it out a bit. And I'm excited to get back there and, and uh, play again. So for anybody who maybe didn't keep an eye on you when you were at Guildford, what will you bring to the, the clan team? What are your attributes that we should all look out for? Um, I like to think I'm a goal scorer. Um, that's kind of, I guess, what I try to bring to the table. And, you know, I just create an offense as well, whether it's on the power play, even strength, whatever it may be. And, you know, what, not being a liability defensively either. So I try to take pride in that and in, in our own end of the rink and stuff like that. And, you know, it's, um, like I said, yeah, just trying to create offense. If If I'm creating offense, that's kind of when I'm at my best, so. Now, I personally, I, I really quite admired that Guildford team you were part of. Some terrific players in there. You reached a, a Challenge Cup final in the playoff weekend as well, of course. So tell us what it was like to play with those guys as talented as they were, your Cali Acrids and John Dunbars of this world, who were, were phenomenal players. Yeah, it was, it was actually really amazing, um, the things that uh, Dunny and Cali could do in practice. Cali's got one of the hardest shots I've seen for a long time, and Dunny's got probably the best hands I've seen for a while. So, yeah, it was it was incredible to play with those guys and just, you know, kind of practicing with them and stuff is just makes you better. And, you know, what? Um, I think Danny's back there. But, yeah, I think, uh, I, yeah, I think we'll have a good, good matchup against him again. I think they should be okay. And, you know, I'm looking forward to playing against him again. What's going back to Guildford, uh, an option for you? I know Paul likes to keep as many players as he can, keep, keep that nucleus together. Was that ever an option for you to return there? Um, I, You know what, I'd, I I don't know if it was, to be honest with you, but uh, I was kind of looking to move on anyway. So um, it was kind of, I was kind of looking for 
maybe somewhere else to play or whatever. And then when, when Malcolm called me, it was kind of a, a perfect fit. So, you know what, I'm excited to come down and play. And as I mentioned, you've already played in a Challenge Cup final. You were part of the playoff weekend with Guildford. I suppose it's a silly question to suggest you want to achieve at least that this year. Is that something you've already got in mind? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Get back to that playoff weekend. Um, it was quite the experience. Obviously, we lost out in the first game, but um, you know we we had a couple of chances to to uh, you know score there and and win that game, but it obviously didn't happen. And like I said, it was just a great experience seeing what uh, seeing how the fans there and how rowdy it gets in that rink at Nottingham. And you know, I definitely am excited and and definitely want to pursue to get back there for sure. Now, I had a look at your, your record um, in the Elite League just before we started this interview, and I saw you were on a bit of a streak before the, the shutdown. I think the Challenge Cup final weekend was the last one, as it turned out. But the weekend before, three games and three nights, you scored six goals and two assists, a bit of a streak forming. How disappointed were you, all things considered, of course, that you, you didn't get the chance to, to build on that and maybe build something for, for Guildford at that time? Yeah, I think everyone in the league was disappointed at that time. But you know what? Um, there was not much we could do about it. And it was kind of for everyone's safety and whatever. It was probably the best play to, you know what, uh, get the players home and, and get them where they're safe and whatnot. But, yeah, like I said, I'm sure everyone was disappointed. And like you said, it was I was just coming on. But what can you do, really? It was, um, you know what, it's... Uh, it, it happens and yeah, there's nothing you could do about it, but yeah. Of course, a couple of weeks before that, you scored five goals in one game against Cardiff Devils. What's it like to score five goals in a top flight professional ice hockey game? That's incredible. You know what? The puck was just kind of going in for me that game. I think I probably had seven shots and five of them went in. So sometimes you just get games like that where you, you really can't miss and um there's there's probably other games where like, that could have happened as well but just didn't uh, it ended up with zero goals and maybe minus three or something so it was just kind of I don't want to say luck but there was definitely some luck involved in that for sure did it just feel like one of those nights where every time the puck came near you it was going to end up in the net was it was it really like one of those yeah exactly it was just and you know, almost like even before the game it was almost like I felt like I don't know it was like something Something happened. I wasn't really sure what, but you can't really explain it. And I just felt great in warm-ups and everything. And then everything I touched just went in. So, yeah, it's a lot of luck for sure. But like I said, I could have, you know what, that could have happened to anyone. I'm sure the clan fans will be hoping for a bit of that by the time you get here as well. And you scored a natural hat-trick during that game as well. That must have been a great, a great achievement for you also. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And that was just kind of the same thing. Like, I think my first three shots went in the net. So uh, it's one of, one of those where, you know what, a lot, of, a lot of times you'll put on, you'll put in seven shots on net and not get a goal. And then sometimes you'll throw seven in and get five. So, you know, it is, like I said, is, you know, is a little bit of luck and a little bit of skill, I guess you can call it. But yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was nice. So tell us a bit about your conversations, if you can, with uh, with Coach Malcolm Cameron. How has he sold this move to you? What's he said to you to persuade you that, that this is the place for you? Well, he just talked about, you know, how he's uh, kind of an offensive-minded coach and, and um, he was kind of talking about the signings that he's had already when I was talking with him. And I, you know what, I've heard of all the guys that he was talking about and I was really excited and, you know what, they're all great players and and just the way he just the way he talks he seems like a genuine guy and you know what um i'm really excited to work with him and and i uh, actually can't wait to get down there and play what have you made of the team so far i'm aware in ice hockey it's a small world you'll have either you'll either know the players that you're you're going to be playing with because you've either played with them before or played against them or you know of them through you know friends who have played in other places as well so seeing that the lineup as it's going right now what do you make of what you've you've seen of the names coming in yeah, I'm really impressed with it. You know what, um, like you said, you, maybe if you haven't played with these guys or or even against them, you've heard of them from one of your buddies that you played with, talking about if they play with them in junior or whatever. And you know what, uh, really excited with with all the signings that so far. And you know what, I like I couldn't be happier with um, the team we got going on here. And I know there's still more signings to come. And I 
you know, it can't imagine they're going to be like, I can imagine they'll be good again. So, you know what, I'm, yeah, I'm just excited and, and happy with uh, what we got going here. Good stuff. Now we'll finish with the two questions I always ask you guys at the end of these interviews. The first one is to find out a fun fact about you, something that nobody really knows too much um, about you. What have you got, Jamie? What's the what's the thing we, we're going to learn about you here? Oh boy, I have to think about that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't I don't really know if this is a fun fact or anything, but I really enjoy golf and baseball in the summer. So uh, I like playing those. Are Two, I would put those three sports up as my top three, hockey, golf, and baseball. I couldn't even choose which one I like better. So I really enjoy getting out on the course and getting out on the baseball field and playing in the summer, getting some getting some sunshine, hanging with friends and stuff. You know, it's I really enjoy doing that. So I don't know if that's much of a fun fact, but that's kind of <laughs> kind of what I got. And, of course, you're coming to the home of golf as well in Scotland. So a chance to explore that all year round. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> Excellent. And finally, to finish off, uh, a message to the Purple Army. The fans will be watching this. Have you got a message for them about what they can what they can look forward to? Yeah, just, you know what, I'm excited to come there. And, and like I said before in the interview that, uh, you know, I'd always enjoyed coming to Glasgow. Great rink, great fans. It was always, uh, you know, exciting in that building. It was always easy to get up to play in there. And I, and I can't wait to be on the home side now. So, like I said, I'm just excited and can't wait to get there. Well, Jamie Crooks, it's been a pleasure to meet you. We look forward to seeing you properly in Glasgow Clan Purple when you get here later in the year. And thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks, Craig. Pleasure.